today I'm joined with uh, Trevor Young, a member of the Protestant community in uh, Balamoney. He has been through many experiences with the Troubles and is willing to share some of his anecdotes through the conflict uh, and how it affected his work and his day-to-day -day life. So how did it affect your work? The place I worked was very isolated. Then a very long lane. There would be nobody there. If you dropped dead in the morning, you want to go to the next day. There were these few cows I was feeding in a very low wee shed, you know. Oh, I never seen them. Must have juked up me. I walked into the shed. There were these four army men standing with their faces blacked out. And I well, then I fed the cows and walked out again. And I was that dumbfounded. I, or dumbfounded must be not a word, but <laughs> I was that astonished to see them there. I had to walk out and see nothing. And uh, must have been the sergeant or somewhere, the private or whoever was in charge of them. Jeez, it turned out hey, there were maybe about 25 of them walking around the whole place, you know. So Trevor, were you ever pressured into taking part in the Troubles? Never. I took no pressure at all. Were you glad to see the Good Friday Agreement? No, because that again the Shanner's mayor poor. How did that make you feel? That's just like creeping republicanism. And that's the way it's going. Was there anything that happened during the troubles in Balamoney you could tell us about? And there were a bone factory up the road for us. Um bone factory for what side? That was UDA side. It was just a hay shed and an old house, and you only thought they'd know it. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us today, Trevor, and uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.